Let us understand concept of opposite integer with the help of this question. Question is, state what you can do to undo your action. Well, that is what opposite integers will do, right? You climb up 7 meters. That is what you do. So what do you do to undo this? That means you can climb down, right? You can climb down 7 meters. So when you undo, that means you come to the same position. So first you climb up, right? So 7 meters and then you come down. When you do that, you are at the starting point. Let us say starting point is 0. So you are right there at 0. Next statement is, you have profit of $200. That means you gained $200, right? So you got some gain, which is plus $200. Reverse of that should be loss of $200, right? So it is loss of $200. Is it okay? So the net result is again, when you add them up, is zero. Now, in this case, you walk two kilometers right. That means if you start from here, let us say this is your starting point at zero, the initial point. You walk right two kilometers. That much you walk, right? Now, what should you do to undo your action? That means to come back to your starting point. You have to walk two kilometers left, right? So walk two kilometers left. You know the result. You come at the starting point, right? Now, the last one is, you fill 2 liters of water in a jar, right? So, let's say, here we have a jar and you fill it with 2 liters of water. Now, how should you undo it? That means you drain 2 liters of water, right? So, once you drain 2 liters of water out of this jar, there won't be anything in it, right? No water, correct? So that is what you do to undo your action. From this exercise, what we learn is a basic concept of integers. That is, integers, you know, are positive and negative numbers, right? Negative whole numbers. Now, when you add equal and opposite numbers, that is to say, if I add plus 5 with minus 5, I should get 0, correct? In this case, for example, 7 meters up and 7 meters down gives me a 0, correct? So, opposite integers are integers which have the same value but opposite sign. When they add up, they always add up to 0. So, that is what we understand from these examples. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.